Kylie Jenner was caught crying during a new episode of The Kardashians about the hate she was receiving about her new look, as her face has seemed to completely change since she allegedly got plastic surgery. Now, Kylie Jenner is no stranger to fillers or Botox, but people think she's gone too far with her procedures now. At the beginning of the year when she was on red carpets, fans were calling her out for looking old. The comments came pouring in with one saying, what did Kylie Jenner do to her face? I read that she's only 26 but she looks old as hell here. Now, Kylie has addressed this on a new episode when she was talking to her sister Kendall. Kylie opened up about the backlash she received about her appearance and plastic surgery over the years. It's like a miracle that I still have confidence and I can still look in the mirror and think that I'm pretty, she admitted to her sister Kendall as the two chatted on the couch. She went on to talk specifically about Paris Fashion Week, which she attended in September 2023. The younger Jenner said that for the first time, she decided she was not going to wear a lot of makeup while attending shows, which still prompted critics to attack her looks. I'm wearing too much makeup and it's like you're wearing too much makeup, then I go and I don't wear a lot of makeup and someone catches me in a weird light, she complained. Now speaking in a confessional setting, Kylie noted that it wasn't just this particular story that upset her. I just hear nasty things about myself all the time, she told a producer behind the camera, adding that after 10 plus years in the spotlight, it just gets exhausting. Chrissy Teigen has also caught some flack for her looks recently. Chrissy revealed in September 2021 that she underwent fat removal from her cheeks. In an Instagram story, she wrote, I did that Dr. Diamond buckle fat removal thing here, while pointing to her cheeks, adding, and since I quit drinking, I'm really seeing the results, and I like it. Yeah, I did it. What? Then in January 2023, Chrissy shared a screenshot via her Instagram stories of a social media user who alleged that her face looked puffy due to face filler. Have you seen Chrissy Teigen's new face, the user wrote at the top of the video. This post is not out of mean intentions, it's merely here to discuss overfill and its possible consequences. Chrissy Teigen's new face. Look at how your face could become if you're doing it wrong. There's too much reliance on hyaluronic gel fillers and not enough focus on building foundations, skin structure, and support. This can result in a puffy and bloated effect. Anya Taylor-Joy was one of the first celebrities people think got buckle fat removal that started the craze. In a recent Reddit thread, many fans began sharing their theories as to why they believe Taylor-Joy went under the knife for a more sculpted and sunken look, emphasizing her cheekbones. I wish she didn't do buckle fat removal, she looks so cute, one fan commented. Her face is no longer round and puffy, but chiseled and a little sunken. One user wrote, why is no one talking about the obvious nose job and buckle fat removal from her cheeks? Now, Megan Fox's face has definitely changed throughout the years, and people were convinced that she had some sort of work done. Now, she had enough, and in 2011, she denied having any work done. And to prove this and stop the rumors, she posted an album to Facebook titled Things You Can't Do With Your Face When You Have Botox that featured pictures of her making various facial expressions. Now, after this was posted, a dermatologist explained her photos actually proved that she did have Botox. Now, recently though, Megan opened up about all the plastic surgery she's had, and she said that she got her breasts done when she was 21 or 22, and then had them redone after breastfeeding her kids. According to her on the Call Her Daddy podcast, she said, I got them done in between the first and second Transformers, and Megan got them done as a young woman, and later on she had kids, and breastfeeding ruined her breasts, so it forced the star to hide her chest and herself from the public until they were fixed. Except, they didn't get fixed. According to her, the second time she got her breasts done, the implants were actually too large, and her body fat couldn't hide the edges of the implants, and they showed through her bare skin. Dove Cameron's facial transformation from 2008 to 2023 is incredible. She has changed drastically, and while some of these changes can be credited to just growing up, it appears that she's had some help from some plastic surgeons. While Dove has been transparent about her image and body issues, she hasn't admitted to receiving plastic surgery, but this hasn't stopped her from being the focal point of a lot of plastic surgery rumors. Now, numerous publications, including the US Sun, have speculated that Dove received a variety of cosmetic procedures throughout her time in the spotlight. According to these sources, experts have spotted radical differences in the former Disney Channel star's face features. In fact, they allege that Dove's facial transformation is so noticeable that it couldn't just be from natural aging and weight loss. It's been said that she had a nose job, cheek fillers, a fox eye lift, and more recently, buckle fat removal. Again, Dove has never admitted to this, but she could have just kept the procedures a secret. 
Now, Miley Cyrus has experienced ongoing physical transformations over the years, and some question if it's due to plastic surgery. Miley's faced rumors that she got a boob job when she was 20 years old after she started adding more chest bearing clothing to her wardrobe. And recently, in new cover art for a new single and her appearance at the Grammys, people have been questioning her appearance. Taking to Reddit with a photo of the cover reveal, some fans couldn't help but call out the celeb's noticeably carved out cheeks. Many commented on the difference in her facial structure recently, believing she had a buckle fat removal procedure done. We need to imprison whatever plastic surgeon pioneered buckle fat removal. Now she's also gotten veneers, and people think they look horrible, and some have even said that she looks like a horse. Can't tell if it's the buckle fat removal or the giant veneers that make her look so off these days, someone added. Now in 2023, Liam Payne debuted a shockingly slimmed down face on the red carpet, which did not go unnoticed by fans or cosmetic surgery experts. He didn't look bad before, but his face, instead of looking soft and a little bit chubby, it looks more modelish and rugged, celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Ratman Kassir said. Fans theorized the star had undergone the popular cosmetic surgery buckle fat removal. Now, taking to Twitter, fans voiced their opinions by saying, No effing way Liam Payne got buckle fat removal surgery. Liam Payne getting buckle fat removal is sending me to the actual moon. And a third wrote, Still can't believe Liam Payne got buckle fat removal. Now, Dr. Azahalem, a board certified multi specialist physician, says she doesn't think that fillers alone could help Liam achieve such a defined look in the lower part of his face, so she agrees that that buckle fat removal likely played a role. Courtney Cox has opened up and revealed she regrets certain procedures she's had done to keep up with Hollywood standards. In 2016, she said, Getting older is not the easiest, but I have learned lessons. I was trying to keep up with being older, and I have done things that I regret, and luckily there are things that dissolve and go away, so that's good, because it's not always been my best look. Admitting that she looked really strange after going under the knife. There was a time where you go, oh, I'm changing, I'm looking older, and I didn't realize that, oh, shh, I'm actually looking really strange with injections and doing stuff to my face that I would never do now. Now, a lot of people don't believe her though, as she still looks completely different. In late 2022, Leah Michelle posted some selfies that had fans questioning if she got buckle fat removal done. On December 12th, 2022, Leah posted a selfie of herself comparing her features to those of the White Lotus's character Lucia. Now, users took to Twitter and TikTok talking about how it was obvious that she had undergone buckle fat removal. Now, if you look at her before and after photos, it's kind of a jump scare because she looks so different. Now, many people online have begun to make fun of her, comparing her to photos of chiseled Squidward from from the show SpongeBob. Now, is it mean? Kinda, but is it funny and true? Absolutely. Now, there's been a rise in this type of plastic surgery, and while the procedure has been around for over 50 years, I'm doing three times as many buckle fat reductions this year than I was five years ago, New York plastic surgeon Dr. Andrew Janko says. Now, Leah hasn't admitted to having anything done, but clearly she did something. People's faces just don't change like that. And lastly, we have Little Kim. Sources close to Lil Kim says that she spent over nine thousand dollars to bleach her skin, get a nose job, and alter her cheekbones. In an interview in 2005, Lil Kim finally admitted to getting several nose jobs done, and back in the day, Kim was one of the first hip-hop artists to undergo plastic surgery. Now, it was widely speculated that she'd also undergone a breast augmentation, chin and cheek fillers, and an eye lift, and speaking about why she wanted to alter her face in the same interview, she said, I think I did it because I was a little too vain at the time. I was trying to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. Adding that she she was a bit excessive when it came to surgery sometimes. It's clear that there's been skin bleaching and that she probably had her eyes done as well. It's also said she could have had Botox injections under the jaw for a more chiseled look, and that Kim probably had filler injected into her cheeks. Erin Moriarty has become the new face, literally, of young celebrities giving into public perception and beauty standards, partly because the dichotomy found in her getting plastic surgery when her character, Starlight, in the show that launched her fame, The Boys, struggled with media attention on her body and face and receiving pressure to look a certain way and appease beauty standards. For fans of her character to see Erin undergo surgery for the exact thing Starlight was trying to run from, it caused a mass wave on social media. It became the epicenter of a conversation on young women being deeply affected by beauty standards and what features are deemed beautiful or not. Megyn Kelly recently did a news story with The Daily Wire's Michael Knowles calling plastic surgery a social illness. Kelly used Moriarty 
Harvey, who has received buccal fat removal, a chin and jaw sh shave surgery, a nose job, microblading, and lip injections as her example, saying more and more young women are doing this, referring to unnecessary plastic surgery on an already beautiful face. Kelly said, It's not about an objection to plastic surgery, it's about an obsession with turning yourself into a fake version of yourself. I find it like a sign of mental illness. I really want to get into the heads of these young girls and say, Please don't do this. Another fan base that was quick to point out the differences in their fave celeb was Noah Cyrus's. Noah Cyrus, who actually looked quite similar to her sister Miley and her mother Tish in her younger years, first went through a shocking visual change circa 2020. She debuted lip filler and cheek filler and microbladed eyebrows, as was the trend at the time in beauty, and it's something she's maintained as a visual since. But in 2023, it looks like she went a step further when she got a nose job, as was pointed out by her fans after she attended the January 2020. Paris Fashion Week looking shockingly different. And now, in 2024, she has sparked rumors for buccal fat removal as she's recently debuted uber gaunt cheeks, the current trend thanks to Ozempic as well. Someone who's also faced some commentary for looking different from their debut days is Quan Nara, the former Hello Venus K-pop idol turned actress's plastic surgery controversy was sparked when photos from her junior high days were leaked online. There are some noticeable differences, primarily in the brow bone and nose area, which sparked discussions and some rumors about her having had plastic surgery. As the rumors escalated, she eventually addressed the speculation through a TV episode of Taxi. After the host admitted to having had plastic surgery himself on his nose and eyes, Nara explained, I was shocked by my appearance at the beginning of my debut and have been consistently working on staying in shape ever since. She also insisted she never received plastic surgery, but that she's just been getting Botox for a long time. Despite her claim, plenty of her adoring fans did send messages of positivity and love, claiming even if she did have pot plastic surgery, as many still suspect she did, they weren't going to judge her for it. Reed Ewing, however, judged himself pretty harshly and shared how that affected his plastic surgery journey in the Huffington Post. The modern family actor expressed in an essay he had written about his heartbreaking battle with body dysmorphia. Ewing revealed that after moving to LA for bigger and better gigs, he became obsessed over what he perceived to be imperfections in his appearance as a man. That he wasn't handsome enough, chiseled enough, that these things would affect his career and his castability. His first plastic surgery as a result is at 19 when he gets cheek implants, which he described as incredibly painful both physically and emotionally. He had to wear a mask for weeks after the procedure, which led to him temporarily avoiding his home to avoid people knowing he had had it. Ewing claimed that the implants had actually made his face appear more gaunt because they defined his cheekbones rather than the actual cheek, and his second doctor then suggested a chin implant as a correction, instead of just removing the problem implants. Ewing got pr additional procedures, which led to more procedures, all in an effort to correct the prior ones. He had essentially become addicted to plastic surgery and explained that never once did a doctor recommend removing the things and just getting therapy. They always recommended doing more and more, feeding into the addiction and lining their own pockets. Reed has since sworn off plastic surgery in 2023, claiming it made him feel even more insecure and isolated than he did before he got any work done at all. Nikita Draga needed plastic plastic surgery to help her blossom into the woman that she is. But she too, like Reed, became addicted and fell into a pattern of unnecessary surgeries that chased down imagined imperfections. Nikita, who was born the male sex, transitioned to the female sex over the past decade and shared that journey online, earning millions of followers in the process with her bold and brash personality. But in 2018, Nikita decided to get real about another side of herself she wasn't documenting. To quote, I recently broke this addiction, she expressed, and I know that's a lot to take in but let me explain. Nikita shared that the hardest part of her transition was her hormone therapy. The changes in her body resulted in her being critical of her appearance, suffering from body dysphoria, and ultimately leading her to undergo more and more cosmetic procedures. Getting her brow bone and jaw shaved, she got four nose jobs, she got Botox, she got breast implants, which required more surgery to fix the complications with the breast tissue following. To quote, I felt this immense pressure to need to pass, to need to be a woman, to need to feel this level of confidence 
confidence. So I was really in this dark place where I had to look in the mirror and stop myself from wanting to change everything because it got to the point where I didn't even know why I was doing the surgeries anymore, she explained. Thankfully, the starlet has recovered from her addiction and continues to be an advocate for transgender youth and those with plastic surgery addictions. Crystal Hefner also came clean about her plastic surgery addiction and how it was shaped too by the unrealistic pressures put on women to fit certain parameters of beauty or otherwise they'd be deemed unwomanly. As a Playboy model and one of Hugh Hefner's wives, Crystal Hefner felt that she was expected to look a certain way, explaining years later, I don't know whether I felt empowered by dressing scantily clad, showing cleavage, etc., or if I just felt it was expected of me or what, she shared on Instagram. Whatever the reasons were, Hefner had a variety of surgeries performed on her, which eventually took a toll on her health. Her breast implants caused memory loss, spatial disorientation, migraines, and fatigue, and a fat transfer surgery almost cost her her life. After all her negative experiences with cosmetic alterations and exhausted of maintaining the Hefner image after the dirtbag's death, Crystal opted for a more natural look, both in real life and on social media. To quote her, I removed everything fake from my body and I deleted all my old photos. I am more authentic, vulnerable, and I feel I belong more to myself. She further explained she had concerns about who would stick around with her account moving in that new direction. As I saw followers drop by the thousands every day, I was in the red. I was watching girls that had similar pages keep posting the same scantily clad stuff and growing exponentially while I tanked hard. But in the end, while she initially lost followers, her numbers eventually rebounded into a fan base that respected her authenticity. This next influencer once gave an Instagram shout out to a plastic surgeon. It's Sophia Ritchie. The plastic surgeon she shouted out in question was celebrity Jason Diamond, to whom she accredited, thank you for always taking care of me. Though Sophia, 29 at the time, didn't specify what work she'd had done, Dr. Rodriguez, who's a board certified internal medicine physician, suggests based off her age and her facial changes during aging, to quote, Sophia has likely received a rhinoplasty, lip fillers, and under eye filler, and maybe chin filler. As for her wrinkle-free skin, probably Botox injections or laser treatments. Speaking of barely there adjustments made through plastic surgery, Hailey Bieber has had some sneaky subtle style of work done on her as well. Most of the young celebs nowadays, it's very subtle. Or do you not remember the iconic Kanye 2022 moment where for no reason during social media rant he aired out the fact Hailey had a rhinoplasty calling her nose job Hailey bald loose? The model, 27, vehemently denied it at the time but the rumor has been following her forever, uh, and understandably so, when past and present pictures are lined up. According to Dr. Ramton Kassir, founder of Kassir Plastic Surgery, he thinks she got work done specifically around her eyes. To quote, she likely had a buck, a blepharoplasty, aka a brow lift, or some expertly injected Botox around the brows. Another starlet who had blink and you miss it minor plastic surgery was Dove Cameron. There's no denying this one. The Descendant Star 28 has been acting since eight. So it's not surprising her look would evolve, but her acid changes suggest more than just growing up. Dove really looks like how she did when she was younger, just if you also happen to grab the skin around her temple and upper cheekbone area and yank it back towards her hairline. Dove has gotten a rhinoplasty as well as upper blepharoplasty, as her eyelids are no longer as hooded, claims Dr. Carlos Rod Rodriguez, director of Skinny Med Spa. He also threw in the speculation her lips may have filler, but he can't determine that as a factor of age or not, unlike very obvious brow lift. And last up is a celebrity whose subtle surgery combos became not so subtle when paired together. It's actually Miley Cyrus. Pair up her buccal fat removal, the big veneers with lip filler, eyebrow lift, and her newest diet of Ozempic, and you got a Miley Cyrus that looks like a permanently surprised Tim Burton character. This exact cocktail is what almost all our adored female celebrities have had done in the recent years. It's a surefire winner, and it highlights all the features most popular in bone structure and faces right now. But that's the thing. Just because a feature's popular doesn't mean you can make it suit your face. Take Cyrus's notoriously soft cheeks and round face. It's completely genetic. You see them on both her parents and her siblings. But Miley decided to suck the buccal fat out and expose her cheekbones, which her face isn't really meant to do. It's caused the singer to look extremely gaunt. It clashes with her newest set of veneers, which they themselves are a whole other problem because they're too big for her mouth. You haven't noticed she's always had it open? Been recently. I think she's playing it off well as an aesthetics thing, but it genuinely seems like it's just uncomfortable for Miley Cyrus to have her mouth closed around those giant veneers. You can even see the difference between them and her authentic teeth photographed in years prior. Meanwhile, up top, Miley did an eyebrow lift, which is to help her cheekbones not look so much gaunt.
want as delicate, but it didn't really take. Instead, Miley is given a distinctly surprised and skeletal looking face. And since her cheeks were drained and her eyebrows yanked back, her eyes are looking larger than life in the middle. Well, the singer's newest 70s style aesthetic, 70s country blend aesthetic is helping carry these newly augmented features, as is her stylist. You know, the big coiffed hair distracts from the yank back eyebrows, slinky 70s dresses distract from an alarmingly thin ozempic frame, etc, etc. There's no denying Miley's had some very in your face work done on, well, her face. So starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kim Kardashian. For years now, it seems like the Kardashian family has denied having any sort of procedures done, which is baffling because just having one look at the family, you can tell that they have definitely had a lot of work done to achieve their looks. While Kim has continued to go on and claim that she hasn't had any butt injections, she has claimed to getting cortisone shots to help her with her psoriasis. In 2022, during her cover interview with Allure, she was would explain that she had a little bit of Botox done and that's exactly what she's done to her face over the years. She then went on to deny any other procedures after she said she chilled on all the Botox lately. She then went on to claim that she's never had eyelash extensions and went on to say, I've never done anything. I have a drop of mascara on today, I've never filled my cheeks, I've never filled my lips, but do we actually really believe her? Number 9. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen has been pretty open about her plastic surgery when she first started to admit to her procedures back in 2017 when she told Refinery29 that she had her armpit sucked out and when her fat came back she had to pay for liposuction again so she could feel more confident when she wore her dresses. Then in 2019, the star would take to her Instagram to post that she would be removing her chest implants as she wanted to be able to zip into a dress size that was actually her size. And then again in 2021, the star would take to her Instagram again to share that she had the fat removed from her cheeks when she said, I did that Dr. Diamond buckle fat removal thing here, and since I quit drinking, I'm really seeing the results. Chrissy then went on to point to the area of her cheek where the procedure had been done before adding in her caption that she had no shame in her Dr. Diamond game. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number 8, we have Khloe Kardashian. I don't think any of us really thought Khloe Chloe would admit to some of the procedures she had done on her face as we thought she was just going to conceal the truth about her work like the rest of the family seems to do. However, during an episode on Keeping Up With The Kardashian series finale reunion, the star would admit to her procedures when she said, For me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had her third face transplant. But I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. On her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, the star also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved when she said, my face was so effed I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again. I'm also almost like I swear things are still in my face which is honestly probably true as once you alter your face, you can't go back to what you used to look like before. Number Number seven, Ashley Tisdale. Have you ever noticed that Ashley Tisdale's face altered around the time she was working on the hit show Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Well, later on in Ashley's career, after the rumors started to circulate around the star altering her nose, she would admit that she did have a nose job done in 2007 to fix a deviated septum. When she told people, I didn't do this because I believe in plastic surgery, I did this to help my health. I literally almost could not breathe out of my right nostril. I I want my fans to know the truth. I'm not someone who is going to act like I have done nothing. I just want to be honest with my fans who are everything to me. And while Ashley did choose to admit that she had surgery done, she's not like most celebrities on this list today because she chose to have the cosmetics procedures done to help her health and not to improve her overall look. Number 6. Bella Hadid In her 2022 Vogue cover story, Bella Hadid would share that she regretted having her nose altered when she was just 14 years old when she said, I wish I would have kept the nose of my ancestors. I think I would have grown into it. She also went on to add that her nose job was the only procedure she has ever gotten done. And she went on to say, people think I fully effed my face because of one picture of me as a teenager looking puffy. I'm sure you don't look the same now as you did when you're 13, right? I've never used filler. 
Let's just put an end to that. I have no issue with it, but it's not for me. Instead, she went on to state that her lifted appearance is the result of an illusion when she said, whoever thinks I've gotten my eyes lifted or whatever, it's called face tape, the oldest trick in the book. However, while the star has admitted to her nose job, it's only a matter of time before she comes out to reveal that she also had buckle fat removal as her cheeks are looking hella sculpted lately. Number five, Joe Jonas. You think being one of the best looking men in Hollywood, Joe Jonas would have never done anything to his face, but then think again as the star has had help from injectables over the years to help combat signs of getting older. As he once told people, we're all getting older and part of it is being comfortable in our own skin. Around this time, Joe was also becoming a brand partner for Exomin, which is an anti-wrinkle injectable that temporarily improves the appearance of frown lines using a double filtered formula. Joe would also go on to admit he not only uses his treatment for his frown lines, but he also uses it to smooth out a scar he has between his eyebrows. Before noting that his procedure has never been over the top and that he kept things pretty light so you couldn't really tell that he has had work done. Joe actually only chose to come out about his cosmetic treatments so he can encourage other men to feel comfortable doing the same thing as he doesn't find it such a big deal and he would also state that we should all feel confident about how we look. Number four. Courtney Cox. At one point in time, we all noticed that there was just something different about Courtney Cox. And while a lot of people just couldn't wrap their finger around it and what was different with her, some of the star's fans then started to accuse the star of having work done. While Courtney was silent for years about her cosmetic procedures, in 2017, she would finally admit to having cosmetic surgeries when she said, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look myself. I think that I now look like the person that I was. I hope I do. Things are going to change. Everything's going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made my face look fake. You need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn how to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend, but honestly, fillers seem to be no one's friend. So it's surprising to see so many celebrities entering into the trend to get them. Number three, Marc Jacobs. Back in 2021, Marc Mark Jacobs would cause quite the public stir on Instagram after he uploaded a selfie of himself post-operation that showcased his head wrapped in bandages. The celebrity would then open up about his $50,000 facelift and his decision to publicly reveal he had gone under surgery while saying there was no shame in being vain. The designer has been sharing candid photos of his post-operative recovery on his personal Instagram account since the celebrity plastic surgeon Andrew Jacko performed his deep plane facelift on July 20th, 2021. Mark would then open up about his procedure with Vogue when he told the media outlet, I've got some scars around my ears and my face is swollen. I have a bruised neck. I'm still posting on Instagram. I don't care. I don't even see it as an effort to be transparent. I'm doing what I normally do, which is living my life and sharing it with anybody who is interested. Mark would then point out that he's been pretty honest about his changing appearance for decades and he'll continue to do so as he gets more procedures done. Number two, Tori Spelling. Back in 2021, Tori Spelling would address her expired and recalled chest implants when the actress posted a photo of herself at a plastic surgeon's office that year on November 19th. In the caption of the photo, she would say, after needing to for many years, I'm finally addressing my expired and recalled implants. Thanks for squeezing me in, Dr. Plastic Surgery. Great consult. I adore you already. Beforehand, Tori Tori had already previously shared that her implants had expired during an October episode, Wind Down with Jana Kramer. And when Tori was asked if she wanted to have new implants done, the Beverly Hills 90210 actor would say she did before noting, see, no one told me when I got that done in 10 years, you would have to get them redone. Beforehand, in 2019, Tori did address all the rumors around her changed appearance when she told people, the one thing that stuck with me forever was the plastic surgery thing. I literally had my nose done and my chest done. That's it. I'm constantly reading that I've done more. While the star has been under speculation for more procedures since she was at the age of 19, it seems like most celebrities can shake the rumors, but Tori's plastic surgery rumors have stuck with her throughout her entire career. And coming in at number one today, we have Reed Ewing. Reed Ewing once opened up about how he had a nightmare of a time struggling with body dysmorphia and the resulting horrors he faced when he attempted to use plastic surgery 
surgery to fix it. When the actor, who is best known for playing Dylan on Modern Family, penned an essay for the Huffington Post, he would give shocking details about how he had a pretty difficult time in his life dealing with body dysmorphic disorder. So if you don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it's a mental illness in which a person obsesses over the way he or she looks, thinking about their real or perceived flaws for hours each day. And for Reed, he spent years analyzing every single feature, to the point he had to make his first appointment to meet with a cosmetic surgeon when he was only 19 years old. Though he describes the doctor as being curt and uninterested in his worries, nevertheless he decided to undergo the surgery to get a large cheek implant. After getting the surgery done, Reed would face more problems, as he had to hide his face from the public to hide his disordered appearance post-surgery. It also didn't help when he woke up from the surgery, all the doctor and his staff could do was laugh at the actor's appearance. Number 10. Janice Dickinson She was known as the world's first supermodel and was hugely successful during the 1970s and 80s. Recently she's been quite the TV star, appearing as a judge on America's Next Top Model, Celebrity Big Brother in 2015 and I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in 2007. The 67 year old model has never been shy about admitting that she's had plastic surgery and confessed to having a breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and facelifts and liposuction and Botox in the past. Although the various surgeries had really gotten out of hand over the years and in 2013 she declared herself bankrupt after over $1 million in taxes and unpaid cosmetic bills. Two years later she appeared on botched to fix her boob job that was done 30 years before, saying at the time that she was no stranger to plastic surgery. But her perspective really changed in 2013 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. In fact, she initially thought the lump in her breast was a botched boob job, telling Entertainment Tonight, quote, if I had to play my life over again, I would have never gotten breast implants in the first place. But fortunately, the following year, she was declared cancer free after six weeks of radiation therapy. Number nine. Tara Reid. There's no doubt that the American Pie star was one of Hollywood's it girls in the late 90s and early 2000s. But while the actress was at the pinnacle of success in her career, she was also going through various issues stemming from botched plastic surgery, and she ended up missing out on a whole bunch of roles because of it. Tara claimed that in 2004, breast implants and liposuction surgeries left her with disfigurements that damaged her career. She told US Weekly, quote, My stomach became the most most ripply bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Tara said that after the procedures, she knew something was wrong when it came to her breast implants, but she was six months post-op when she realized that it had been terribly botched. Quote, the actual center part where the areola is, instead of it being a circle, it turned out to be a large square. It was horrifying. She also went through an infamous wardrobe malfunction on the red carpet at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004, which resulted in her body going viral, which left her devastated. Tara said she cried and begged photographers not to release the photos because the last thing she wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. Number eight, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke was one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. He made his feature film debut with a minor role in Steven Spielberg's 1941 and garnered significant attention with 1981's Body Heat. However, in the early 90s, the actor decided to take up professional boxing. And while that brought him success, it also came with a string of severe facial injuries. Rourke reportedly faced a broken nose twice, suffered toe and rib injuries, a split tongue, a compressed cheekbone, and even short term memory loss for some time. As a, as a result, the actor had to undergo several reconstructive surgeries to fix himself up, but most of them did not achieve the desired result, so he had to undergo even more surgery to correct those mistakes. Eventually, Rourke's facial features were nearly unrecognizable compared to his initial appearance. In 2009, he finally opened up to the Daily Mail about it. Quote, Most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. Which is really sad because it was probably just down to having a really sketchy plastic surgeon. Number seven, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla has always been admired for her beauty, but she has undergone multiple plastic surgery procedures in recent years, and some have gone a little bit too far. But this is all down to one tragic procedure in 2003 that should have never been done. The former wife of Elvis Presley was the 
victim of an unlicensed doctor and was left with botched plastic surgery that changed her looks forever. Dr. Daniel Serrano administered surgery on several Hollywood A-listers, including Lionel Richie, his ex-wife Diane, and Sean King, the late wife of CNN presenter and TV host Larry King. He only charged between three to five hundred dollars and operated on his clients at lavish cocktail parties in Hollywood. But Serrano was only a licensed nurse, and when he carried out the procedure, he used industrial grade silicone, which is often used to lubricate car parts. The fake doctor eventually went to prison, and Priscilla has reportedly been undergoing corrective treatments ever since. But her changing face has also been attributed to Presley's alleged extensive history with plastic surgery, which reportedly includes multiple facelifts, laser treatments, as well as lip and cheek fillers. So this is probably why her look has changed so much over the years. Number six, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and soap opera actress Lisa Rinna has been very open about her plastic surgery choices, mainly her decision to plump her lips with injections, which definitely seemed to have gone a little bit too far. Rina had permanent silicone filler injected into her top lip, which she initially loved, but eventually she decided to have it reduced after facing criticism for her appearance. She told People in 2010, quote, I was crazy to even touch them in the first place. In total, she's had four injections, and she explained that in the beginning, it was great, but after about 10 years, the silicone started seeping through her lip and creating scar tissue that was hard and bumpy. She claimed that when she would get photographed, her lips would look a certain way, and then people would start to talk. The TV star said that she even tried cortisone shots to reduce the swelling, but instead of helping it, it actually made them look worse. Quote, I have a doctor to remove as much as they possibly can because it got to the point where they were yucky. You know, they get hard, it's gross. Lisa said that the doctor took out as much silicone as possible and now her lips are somewhat back to normal. Number five, Jennifer Grey. After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer's career seemed to stall. And although she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles. But Jennifer said it actually ended up being the surgery that affected her ability to get jobs. Quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out as anonymous. She told The Mirror in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell and she'll always be this once famous actress that nobody recognizes because of a nose job. After her first surgery, she was thrilled with the way she looked. Then less than a year later, she noticed that a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose. Jennifer then underwent a second surgery to correct the issue, but when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. To make matters worse, when the public got wind of the situation, the star felt humiliated, as many people did not believe that she was Jennifer Grey anymore. And she would often have to go to great lengths just to prove that she was in fact who she said she was. Number four, Kylie Jenner. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star has basically grown up in the spotlight, so her transformation from tween to teen and now a 20-something mother has all been before our very eyes. Which means that it's not hard to notice the drastic changes to Kylie's appearance in the more than 10 years since the show first aired in 2007. While fans have speculated about Kylie having undergone everything from lip filler to a Brazilian butt lift, it's hard to separate fact from fiction when it comes to her ever-changing aesthetic. But after years of denying that she had lip filler, the star eventually came clean about that particular cosmetic touch-up. During a 2015 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kylie admits, quote, I have temporary lip fillers. It's just an insecurity of mine and it's what I wanted to do. But it's a little bit sad when you look at why she got it done. Quote, I was 15 and I was insecure about my lips. I have really small lips and it was just like one of my first kisses and a guy was like, I didn't think you would be a good kisser because you have such small lips. She also admitted that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point before her sisters pointed it out and said, Kylie, you need to chill. They were definitely right to let her know when it was becoming a little too much. Number three, Reed Ewing. The Modern Family actor stars in one of the most successful shows on television, but Reed revealed in a Huffington Post op-ed that he'd been waging a private battle with his looks. 
he bravely opened up about his battle with body dysmorphia, unhealthy obsession with his physical flaws, and the plastic surgery that he had turned to as a solution. Reed wrote that when he first moved to LA at 19, he would apparently sit alone in his apartment and take photos of himself, and try to analyze every single angle and feature of his face. Quote, after a few years of doing this, one day I decided I had to get cosmetic surgery. No one is allowed to be this ugly, I thought. It's unacceptable. In 2008, he decided to see a plastic surgeon to get the first of many surgeries he would go on to have. He wanted cheek implants and wrote that he genuinely believed if he had one procedure, he would suddenly look like Brad Pitt. But he wished he hadn't because that's where the nightmare began. Quote, after all the swelling finally went down, the results were horrendous. Reed isolated himself from everyone and it took him six months before he was comfortable with people even looking at him. It's extremely upsetting that his battle with body dysmorphia won and it just left him feeling worse about himself after all the surgery. Number two, Joan Van Ark. The actress became famous for her roles on the nighttime soap operas Dallas and Knott's Landing between the late 1970s to early 1990s. And while she was known to be extremely beautiful at the peak of her acting career, Joan's appearance has changed so much over the years due to her extreme addiction to plastic surgery. If you wanna know the extent of the procedures, one source who allegedly saw Joan in January 2020 told the Globe that it looked like her face was melting. Now that's pretty harsh to say, but it might just be that bad, considering just how much the 79 year old has reportedly gone under the knife. We're talking about blepharoplasty, cheek and lip fillers, Botox injections, in fact, plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yun told the National Enquirer that Van Ark's drastically changed appearance is also due to at least one or two facelifts, which is what caused her neckline and jawline to look tight. But this is all speculation, and everyone knows working in the industry comes with various pressures to stay young. So addiction to cosmetic surgery is unfortunately something that comes with the territory. And coming in at number one, Katie Price. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. As a 44 year old status has risen over the last two decades, so has the number of times she's gone under the knife, leaving her now completely unrecognizable from her former self. But Katie has always been honest about the work she's had done, like the fact that she's had a whopping 12 boob jobs over the last 25 years. And she got the first one when she was only 18. But a trip to Turkey for one of the procedures resulted in a botched boob job. She told the son, quote, I had my boobs done in Turkey and they looked deformed. They were absolutely awful. She's also had veneers done and in the, and in June last year, Katie endured one of the most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day that she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections to her bum. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has underwent an eye and brow lift that has left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery is definitely synonymous with her brand at this point, and although Katie has said many times that she has no plan to stop going under the knife, just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked a lot better before. And at number 10, Paul Stanley. The Kiss frontman looks very different now now than when the band was in its height, and people think the change is due to cosmetic procedures. It's rumored that he had a nose job, facelift, along with other fillers and Botox. Some evidence also suggests he may have underwent an eyebrow lift and a lip job. Stanley is only admitted to one procedure, and that was an ear reconstructive surgery. He got this because he was born with a condition, microtia, which caused him to not have a right ear. While speaking with SiriusXM's Jim and Sam video interviews, Stanley also admitted to having his rotator cuffs repaired, along with a hip replacement and cartilage repaired in his knees, but nothing related to his appearance. And at number 9, Michaela Romanini. For many years, she was one of Italy's biggest stars and was titled one of the most beautiful women in the country. But after getting many cosmetic procedures, she was left looking completely unrecognizable from her former self. We're not sure exactly what procedures that she's gotten, but but it's clear her lips, eyes, and skin look drastically different. Some media outlets even say she looks like an alien. But even with all the criticism around her looks, she apparently does not regret any of her procedures. Some reports even claim she is now addicted to surgery, specifically lip collagen injections. And at number 8, Kenny Rogers. The late Kenny Rogers decided to undergo cosmetic surgery, and it changed his appearance so drastically that it really hurt his confidence. He told CBS host Gail King in 2012, quote, I was trying to hide myself. I had the money to do it, and I had time off. It was one of those things that I think everybody's like, you look at yourself and you go, could I be better if I did this or I did that? Adding that he regrets doing anything, and he's always very curious as to what he would have looked like without it. 
He also said that the changes in his appearance did not affect his music or singing voice, but rather his confidence to get on stage and make music. He even cancelled some shows during his 2018 farewell tour because he was battling health challenges, which some speculated was due to the surgeries. His worst procedure was a botched eyelid lift. He said about the procedure in 2006, quote, I'm not happy about it. It drives me crazy. And at number 7, Joan Rivers. The late Joan Rivers is a comedy legend, and she's been very open about the countless cosmetic procedures she underwent through the years. Just some of the procedures that she's admitted to include a facelift, neck lift, and eyelid surgery. However, she passed away at the age of 81 due to complications with a cosmetic procedure. Her daughter Melissa spoke about the tragedy in a memoir that she wrote about her mother called The Book of Joan. Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. In the book, Melissa states that Joan received 348 cosmetic procedures over her lifetime because she was always insecure about her looks. Melissa also appeared on the Today Show and spoke about her mother's tragic death, falling complications during a throat surgery, saying, quote, In my opinion, it was 100% preventable. Melissa actually filed a lawsuit against the clinic, saying they were not prepared and very unprofessional. And at number six, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley has no signs of aging on her face, even though she is 76 years old, but she does look completely unrecognizable from her former self. Some say this is due to botched procedures over the years. A few years back, she revealed that low grade silicone was injected into her face, the type that mechanics use to grease car parts. This was done by fraudulent doctor, Dr. Daniel Serrano, who was later sent to prison for his illegal tactics. A rep for Priscilla said, quote, Priscilla Presley was one of many documented victims of Dr. Serrano. An investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Ms. Presley dealt with this matter years ago and everything is now well. However, one doctor does not think the botched injections explain her puffy, waxy face, and he insisted that this is due to repeated laser treatments and Botox. One commenter wrote about her look, quote, What has Priscilla Presley done to her face? It looks like she has a scary mask on. Halfway number 5, Jackie Stallone. The late mother of A-list actor Sylvester Stallone revealed that she had many plastic surgery regrets in a 2013 interview. When asked if she had had work done, she said, quote, I do and actually I've gotten too much. I look like I've got a mouthful of nuts. It's Juvederm, too much of it. I feel as though I look like a chipmunk. She continued, Juvederm plumps you up here, pointing at her cheeks, but it looks like you have a mouthful of walnuts. She then explained that she's had about three chemical peels and about 50 injections over her lifetime. She revealed that she had never tried Botox because naturally she did not have wrinkles in her forehead. Jackie claims that she believes in plastic surgery, but thinks that Beverly Hills doctors are overrated hacks, saying that she went to other states to have work done because she doesn't trust Beverly Hills surgery. And at number 4, Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell shocked fans when he appeared at the red carpet for the America's Got Talent quarterfinals, looking totally unrecognizable. His face was discussed at length in the media, and on the Absolute Radio Breakfast show, Dave Barry said, quote, I remember Simon Cowell when he had his first face. I've known him a long time. The current one is a bit slipknot. It's actually quite terrifying. With the host noting that his surgery was probably done in the dark if it came out that badly, and that a man with his money should have gotten the best surgeon in the world. After stepping out, Dr. Nyla Raja, a leading cosmetic doctor, said that he had gone a bit overboard with the Botox, adding quote, adding quote, I suspect Simon's fallen complexion is a combination of weight loss and also too much Botox. And at number three, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is the sister that gets the most slack for her cosmetic enhancements because it seems like she looks different every week. While speaking about rumors about her plastic surgery, she told host Andy Cohen that she's had one nose job, along with fillers, but not Botox. Years earlier on her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, she also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved, saying, quote, My face was so messed up I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again, and I'm almost like, I swear things are still in my face. Although people don't believe she hasn't touched fillers, because her face has changed dramatically since then. And at number 2, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is known for her signature pout that she achieved through the help of fillers. But she's gotten some other procedures that she's regretted. Apparently after she tried Botox, she was totally botched. Lisa said that she got Botox in her cheeks because all of her friends were getting it done and she wanted to try it out for herself. But after the procedure was done, Lisa said, quote, I saw a photo and I was like, oh Jesus, that's not good, that is not good. But after that experience, she's learned that less is more, saying that she still likes Botox but won't do anything that changes the shape of her face. And finally, at number one, Dolly Parton. 
Dolly Parton is my queen and I love her so much, but it's clear to her fans that she's changed a lot over the years and she's been vocal that the changes are due to cosmetic enhancements. She told CBS Sunday Morning in 2019, quote, It's true that I look artificial, but I believe that I'm totally real. My look is really based on a country girl's idea of glam. I wasn't naturally pretty, so I make the most of anything I've got. Dolly's admitted to many procedures, including a facelift, eye surgery, breast implants, liposuction, excess skin removal, lip injections, Botox, and more. Dolly also looks phenomenal at her age of 75 and says that she will look as young as her plastic surgeons allow. So that's all for the list, guys. Please leave me your thoughts on anything below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from Mine and Bree's video on JK Rowling. Penny said, Yes, also, no matter how you feel about the trans community, JK has a right to also feel as she does and to voice it. Can't have it only one way. I totally agree. I mean, freedom of speech is a thing for a reason, and we, it, we should protect it in society. You should be able to say what you're thinking um, freely. But it, we really are at this point in society where it, you know, you can say whatever you want, but that doesn't mean freedom from consequences basically. Then Regina said, oh my god I'm such an idiot. For a second I was like, why does it feel like Mackenzie and Brie are not like really looking and talking to each other? Oh my god do they not like each other anymore? I have taken a bit of a YouTube break the past few months then I realized they're not even together. So yeah the way we do collabs, we are together only for the beginning and the end. Um, that's pretty much it and then kind of the middle bits we are not together. So um, yeah, <laughs> I think it's just kind of a getting used to a thing because we haven't done collabs in a really long time. They're kind of a newer thing. Uh, I probably hadn't done collabs in over a year before just starting to do them. So I think it's just uh, working out the kinks.